Retinol 0.2% emulsion is our strongest retinoid yet. Direct quote from The Ordinary. But is it any good? A child can do their strongest bicep curl of one kilogram, but is that a strong lift in general? Obviously not. I'm gonna break this latest product down from The Ordinary and say whether I think it's worth buying or not. First thing to go through is, what actually is it and why are they saying it's stronger? Well, it's based on retin aldehyde, hence the name retinol, which is a retinoid. Retinoid simply means it's a form of vitamin A and retinaldehyde is one of those types of vitamin A. Just like uh, you know, a vehicle means a type of transport and cars are one of those types. There's a difference here between retinol that they also sell and retinaldehyde. Without being too technical, I know I, I do tend to be, uh, I know some of you guys like that too, there's different forms of vitamin A and they're using the body in different ways. Retinol can bind to something called SRBP, which is serum retinol binding protein that allows vitamin A to be transported in the bloodstream. Retinaldehyde, on the other hand, is something that retinol is converted into once the vitamin A gets closer to its end destination by using things like alcohol dehydrogenase enzymes. Once retinol converts into retinaldehyde, retinaldehyde can then be oxidized using retinaldehyde dehydrogenase to form retinoic acid. Then once you get retinoic acid, it can act directly onto receptors called RARs, retinoic acid receptors. There are three types, alpha, beta, and gamma. The one we're mostly concerned with in the skin is called, well, for this purpose, is called gamma. So with that, you can understand that each form of vitamin A is a step towards active retinoic acid that helps us get better looking skin, to put it simply. So we go from retinol to retinal to retinoic acid using an enzyme for each step. Now it is more complex than that, but I don't wanna make this video go on for two hours. I have long videos on my channel already if you wanna look into things like that. So once you understand that, you understand where the ordinary product sits on the retinoid spectrum. Yes. It's not the most potent, it's not retinoic acid, but it's, it's more potent than retinol in terms of proximity to the final retinoic acid that can act directly on RAR receptors. Now on that basis, it's a great product to try, but what about the fact that it's made with an extract from oats? Well, the extract they're using is called avananthamide. These are uh, plant extracts, um, and they've been shown in, in a paper, so 2008, to have an anti-itching activity by decreasing the activity of something called nuclear kappa factor B, which is linked to provoking inflammatory responses by the release of molecules like interleukin-8. If you don't know what an interleukin is, you know, they're type of protein signal molecules called cytokines, and they're released by white blood cells called leukocytes. So if you're able to limit how much the immune system reacts, then you're able to limit the amount of inflammation that's produced. So do I think combining these things together in this product is any good? Well, logically, it does make sense because retinoids can be hard to adapt to when you first use them. So on that basis, yes. And you know what? There's something very special about this product. It's only $15. For what you get at that price, I think it, it's pretty much in a class of one. However, would I use it myself? because that's the acid test at the end of the day. Absolutely not. Now, that's not because it's bad, but it's because there are products available that are even more powerful. Products that go even beyond retinoic acid are available now for even more RAR gamma agonization in the skin. If you wanna see how that works and, and see what's even more powerful than this, I'll leave my uh, retinoid video in the link in the description below. But listen, it, my, my advice, okay, if you're gonna buy this, is to ideally work up from retinol or some, some other vitamin A form to this if you're worried about reactions from it being too strong. I know it has an anti-itching ingredient, but that might possibly re reduce histamine release, I agree, but it doesn't mean there's a guarantee of no reaction. Use something like Environ's AVST series, and when you get to level five in that, switch over to something like this afterwards. That way you get phenomenal amounts and types of vitamin A into your skin, but you massively reduce the chances of retinoid reactions when you're or where your skin goes you know, dry, tender, um, and it very inconveniently starts to peel. Once you've then adapted to this retinal, after that retinaldehyde, you can go even stronger for even more anti-aging effect if you like, and the products for that are in my retinoid video that I'll link below.